Hi guys, this is Mr. Pharma. How long do you think it takes a new drug to get approved? It is about 10 to 15 years that approximately one third of our duration of our professional career. So how much money is invested to bring a new drug to the market? It takes approximately 1 billion US dollars. It also requires employing 600 plus people for around 15 years. So why does the drug development takes these many years? What are the stages in drug development in US? Let's today see the overview of drug development process as per US FDA. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. So what is a drug? A drug is any product that is intended for use in the diagnosis, cure migration, treatment or prevention of disease and that is intended to affect the structure or any function of the body. Like said earlier, it takes around 10 to 15 years for the drug to be developed. As the drug development process is unpredictable and it undergoes multiple complex processes with high investment of money and involves the safety of the people, it takes 10 to 15 years. Drug development is considered important as new diseases and population are increasing rapidly. More importantly, drug development must not be confused with manufacturing development. Manufacturing development is a part of drug development. The development process for drugs involves five basic steps. The first stage of drug development process is the drug discovery. In this stage, drug researchers discover drug molecules with the support of scientific data to stop and reverse the effect of disease. In this stage, out of 1000 compounds, only a small number of compounds will look promising and will level up for further studies. In this stage, the drug will be developed and evaluated for collecting data on the absorption, distribution, metabolization and excretion data, the possible benefits and mechanism of action, suitable dose and dosage form, the side effects or adverse events, impact on different groups of people, the drug interaction and treatments and drug effectiveness as compared with similar drugs. The second stage is the preclinical research. In this stage, the drug researchers will identify if the drug has the potential to cause serious harm called toxicity. The research is done in two ways. One is in vitro research, which means done externally, and second is in vivo research, which is done internally. Researchers obtain comprehensive evidence of dosing and toxicity in this stage. Depending on the results, the researchers apply requests to the health authority for testing the drugs on humans. The third step is the most important step, the clinical research. Clinical research refers to the studies that are done in people. These clinical trials are designed by large group of researchers from multiple domains for setting the plan called the protocols. Once the application is received by the FDA, FDA reviews the IND application and ensures the proposed clinical trials does not cause unreasonable harm to the subjects. The clinical research includes four phases. In phase 1, the safety and dosage is determined with a study part participants of 20 to 100 healthy people with the respective disease or condition. The study completion may take up several months and approximately 70% of the drugs move to the next phase. In phase 2, the efficacy and side effect is determined with several hundred people, approximately 100 to 300 participants and the study may take a time period of 2 years and almost 33% of the drug qualified to the next phase. In phase 3, the efficacy and adverse reactions will be monitored with 300 to 3000 study participants and the study may complete in 1 to 4 years and 25 to 30 percent of the drugs move to the next phase. Phase 4 is to evaluate the efficacy and safety which is called the post-marketing safety monitoring. This is because the drug will be approved to the market and monitored for its safety and efficacy. The fourth stage is the drug review. After phase 3, the drug developer having the sufficient drug data evidence will submit the application to the FDA to market commercially and the application is called the new drug application. The new drug application in short will tell the full story of the drug from stage 1. FDA and the sponsor will have the review discussion before submitting an NDA. After submission, the FDA may refuse to file or approve the drug. The FDA review for the time approval may take from 6 to 10 months. Also, FDA will work with the applicant to finalize the drug prescribing information to assure that the relevant information is communicated to the healthcare professional and the consumers. FDA also will finally inspect the drug manufacturing facility. 
The final and fifth stage is the post-market drug safety monitoring. Based on the submitted NDA, FDA will approve the drug. As it is impossible to have the complete information on safety during approval, FDA will monitor the drug's safety after approval to detect adverse events using programs like MedWatch Medicine in which any of them can report the problems associated with the drugs. The new drugs will be patented and only the patented owner will have the rights to market the drug and after the patent expires, other drug manufacturers can develop the drug which is called the generic drug. To know more about generic drug, click the link given in the video description. Hope now you have the complete idea about drug development process as per FDA. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any questions, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our Pharma Portal channel. Bye.